that was defense team Pandaros. And what's that to do anything? Those were the like, um, not robot robot guys. Who came okay, they, they were the golems. Okay, yeah. And then there was a mere bat, long long cat with bat wings. Oh yeah, yeah. I forgot the mere bat made an appearance. And then the other ones who brought us parchment. That's an invitation to the main hall. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, Tim, we are live on Twitch. So uh, welcome everyone to Hammer the Gods. Uh, tonight we have a special guest, Keisha. Would you like to introduce yourself? Hi, I'm Keisha, the special guest. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I am one of the gals who does a podcast called Potions and Potpourri. If you guys haven't heard it, uh, come check us out. We are primarily a D and D podcast where we just nerd out about our favorite topic of Dungeons and Dragons, as well as other TTRPGs. So, yeah, hello. Thanks for having the time to come on and, you know, play some D&D with us. Tim, you want to say who you are? I know you've been on every week, but, you know. <laughs> yeah, hey, I'm Tim with Geckos Media, uh, and I am representing a podcast called Geckos and Grottos D&D, uh, which is being ripped by Rick Shirt right now. <laughs> we did a little swap. I got hand pot. He's got Geckos. Uh, and Geckos and Grottos D&D is an improv comedy podcast where the rules of D&D are very light. And it's more about improv storytelling with randomized events, randomized cards, actions, and world building. Yeah, Check it out. It's very, very <laughs> rules like. Can confirm. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, uh, Tim, you uh, started to give a nice recap. So, would you like to uh, fill the viewers in on what happened last time? Yes, I would love to. Uh, mm -hmm. Last time, Nikitas ate a bunch of jelly beans that makes him forget everything. <laughs> I'm kidding. I think we started off. I think I think last time, Nikitas was a little jealous that Bayon went on a solo adventure without him in the kitchen or the tavern, and he got into some trouble. Nikitas kind of came in after the fact and kind of confronted him and asked him what was going on back there. But inside of the tavern, I believe we were making too much ruckus to the point where the the defense team Pandorus basically came in to tell us to, to knock it off and not blow our cover. Uh, so begrudgingly, we agreed. Uh, we left the tavern. We were confronted by a mirror bat, which dropped off a scroll that acted as an invitation to the main hall because we are to be sorted and welcomed into the school. So a, quick, a quick note, uh, the DTP did not care at all that you guys were going to blow your cover. Um, they were there because there was a commotion with the steam methods. Ah, uh, yeah. somebody else was there. Oh, the the changeling that yeah. we ran into that looked like Bion that wasn't Bion, the mm -hmm. Fikatas. Uh, he was the one who told us to chill out and not blow our cover. The DTP was there to put an end to the ruckus inside of the kitchen. Yeah, that's it. Mm -hmm. And then fast forward, we get an invitation from a mirror bat. We go to the main hall that looks surprisingly like a giant mouth with teeth. And I wrote, this is probably a dragon. <laughs> I mean, it was um, definitely a dragon's mouth, for sure. <laughs> uh, we go to the main hall. Uh, we see all the other children there or all the other students there. We stand out. Uh, we try to whisper, but the headmaster hears everything. And the headmaster... We're whispering about trying to kill him. <laughs> because he is a beholder, a, uh, a creature of great evil. Uh, but basically, we make. I, I think he starts talking about the school stuff. We disregard whatever he was saying. We get released, and we go back to our house common room, which is the Pistamos house, which can be identified by an owl on a scroll, poppy with flowers. Think Ravenclaw. Uh, Bion and I have a little have a little lovers quarrel. I overhear some kids talking about a super cool club, a club where people know people and they teach people stuff, but they may have given away that they may have known Demos, Demetrius's brother, who is a person of interest in our investigation. So I remember Nikitas wanted to get in further with that group so that he can find out more about how they know Demos. And then buy on yeah, with the sleep or something more, like that. Like you you kind of inferred that they didn't really say anything about him. Oh. You kind of inferred that from context clues. Right, they're definitely uh, they're, they're of interest, right? They they got my they pick my interest enough to be the next lead. I think we go after. 
Yeah. Okay, so. And I slept on myself, by the way. We tried the spoon and cuddle with each other, but it didn't work out. Uh, <laughs> I ended up sleeping on the floor. Oh. It happens. It happens. Yeah, so apparently my, my laptop, which was like our backup recording, is just not going to cooperate tonight because it just turned off twice. <laughs> so that's all right. Um, also, hey, hey, Rick, it did say if you can give me permission, I can record on my end. Um, I think it has permission set up. And I mean, please ask like, host to give you permission to record. Okay, let me see. It should. Let's see, how do I do that? I don't remember. I don't know, it usually records to Twitch, worst case scenario. Um, I'll just screen record it or something from Twitch. <laughs> oh no, there's gotta be a button. It's like, it's not popping up like, hey, this guy's trying to ask permission to record. Weirdly not. Hmm. <laughs> Can't be that easy, can it? No. Yeah, it's probably because I'm not the original host. It was my laptop oh. original host. I don't know. Who knows? It's a mystery. Mystery. So, yeah, let me send Dan a message real quick. So, uh... hey, can you guys hear me okay? Yes. Yes. Yeah. And what I love about the recaps is nobody fact checks them. So I could totally just say whatever I want happened last time. Like, I'm now level 20. I have the power of a god. That so, totally happened. Well, because Rick, the DN, went MIA for a period of time. We didn't mention that in the recap. So during that period, we all leveled up. We, we solved the mystery. Uh, Demos was actually just at his mom's house. <laughs> like, no one thought to look there. <laughs> and the mystery is over. And, you know, it's funny because you did try to get to level 20 one time. And that did uh, not I, did. Very well for you. Yeah. I think the highest level character I've ever had is like seven. I've I played at least really? 500 D and D games, and they all stop and fizzle out before seven. And now my longest running game, there are no levels. You're just you just <laughs> or you are every 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 game. Right. <laughs> There's no leveling. <laughs> before we actually get like officially started, I'm really excited because on Monday on uh, the Vakter. I am playing in their one shot and I'm a level 13 character. So I'm like, the oh. highest level I've ever played. <laughs> a good number. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Uh, that's yeah. cool. It's so weird because I've been playing for a really long time, like 20 plus years. Um, and I've never, like Tim, I've never gotten very high because every campaign fizzles out. So, ah, oh, sad. Yeah. Rick, maybe we're the problem. <laughs> maybe we're the one with commitment problems. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, I've never. I mean, I think technically the highest level character I have is maybe also seven, but that's because I became the DM. Yeah. And then kind of killed off my own character on accident. Oopsie. So. <laughs> yeah, and I I have been kind of the forever DM of my groups. So yeah, I don't really get yeah. to play as often as I would like. So. Same. But anyway, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, Nikitas, you have been unsuccessfully trying to spoon with Vion in the twin size bunk in the common room. Um, but he seems to have just passed out. Like he is sawing logs, fully just snoring away. And uh, you just don't feel tired this morning. Yeah, I'm trying to get to sleep, but like what's nagging me in the back of my head is is not the investigation, but rather the exam that we're being pressed to, to pass. So I've been studying all night. <laughs> what was your name, Kira? The oh, oh, Kina. Uh, oh, sorry. Oh no, Kina. So Kina, Kina the, the the teacher, um, she put the fear the fear of the gods in us that we better uh, study or we're not going to pass the exam and we'll be kicked out. So Natas is taking that serious and he has like his investigation notes like shoved under the bed, but he's like really focusing on like the exam questions and the and the I love review. how she casually mentioned that there's a quiz on owlbears at the end of the week and you're just like, 
I'm going to die if I don't pass this. <laughs> yeah, it's like real life Tim anxiety. <laughs> Feeding into Nick Tuss. <laughs> I, don't even, I don't even have to give you like plot notes. I'm just like, here you go. Here's a test. No. Panic. <laughs> no. I'm like looking up on my, uh, I don't know what the equivalent of like Google is in this in this place. Like probably like asking wizards or something like that. Been like, where can I get my hands on an owl there? Like I need to study one. Is there like a zoo nearby? Like I'm looking at the closest zoo. <laughs> If only there was like a, a teacher who taught a class on magical creatures and how not to kill them. Well, I can't ask the teacher. She's the one who's <laughs> quizzing me. Or maybe like a textbook, something silly like that. So Nikitas, since you can't sleep, I mean, by now, I'm sure you're getting pretty hungry, right? You know, first I, mean, thing you, I mean, now that you mention it, yes. <laughs> <laughs> It's so weird. Without Dan here, you're just, you just just follow right along. <laughs> <laughs> Not derailed at all. Yeah, I get a little hungry. Um, studying really, really, you know, takes it out of you. So it's probably like 6 or 7 a.m. in the morning. You know, classes start at 8. And I want to get a, a full breakfast in for a full day of learning. Okay. So I had, so I guess I head down to the cafeteria, lunchroom, all-purpose room. I don't know what they, what they yeah. call it here. We'll call it a dining room. Dining room, oh. dining hall. Fancy. Yeah. So, Keisha, would you like to introduce your character? Uh, yeah. So, one of the few that's probably already there uh, chowing down on just this massive leg of some kind of animal. <laughs> uh, is Owl this... bears, probably. probably. I was going to say, is, is it owl bear? <laughs> I wouldn't know. <laughs> owl bear leg shaped. Um, <laughs> very very tall half orc uh she has very long hair split into three thick braids that kind of go down up to her neck before they are loosely unbraided and her hair is just kind of like all over the place draped over her shoulders uh deep red color with uh deep green skin and she's got definitely those like giant like two teeth just like poking out like this you know love it love she's it tear into that meat uh she's definitely you can tell her upper body is just like ripped with muscle but it just kind of like tapers down with like two very not as muscly legs she skips leg day a lot so a little <laughs> off balance the way she kind of walks she actually has to kind of like catch herself uh yeah she's just going at it that leg of an owl bear and so, Nikitas, this is what you are greeted to when you walk into the dining hall. There are a couple of students, but I mean, by far the most interesting person is this half orc. Ooh, gross. What is that? Is that, is that Albert? Excuse me, ma'am. What are, I'm sorry. Sorry, but I just want to say you're eating like a barbarian. But uh, mm -hmm. what is it that you're eating there? I, I have a test on Albert's, and that looks quite quite similar to that of the Albear anatomy from my book. Here you see, and I show you my book of an Albear. It's just kind of like. <laughs> I drew it myself. It's just like bigger with, with like wings. <laughs> <laughs> like wings down really close, squinting and greasy hands, like reaches down, like tapping it. Grease is getting on the picture. And okay, that's enough, ma'am. This is I, I need to study from this. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Probably. Do you need this to be an owl bear lake? Because if you do, then yes. I mean, I, I don't care either way. I'm just trying to to study here. Um, do you know where where the line for breakfast is? I'm I'm really hungry. Who's asking? Uh, me. I'm. <laughs> my name is. Uh, normalitas. Um, I'm just a, an average student here. Um, nothing interesting about me at all. I'm just, just normal. And uh, Nikitas, can you describe normalitas? Uh, so he, so I think this his current iteration is this that of a very very bland human man. Uh, no distinguishable features. Uh, he is dressed like any other uh, student. Um, yeah, that, that that's kind of it, right? Like when you look at him, he can if you pay attention long enough, you can see that his face is always shifting a little bit. 
Um, but right when you think you figure something out, he, he kind of just changes and looks, looks more bland. Uh, nothing striking, just blah. It's almost like his hair is a mixture of, of brown and blonde. His eyes like are like a mix of just, just dumb brown. <laughs> just very, very basic human looking boy. <laughs> or young man, rather. Yeah. This is like wizard college. Yeah. <laughs> sure. So I'm just Norma I'm the Normaltas. Uh, may I ask your name? Mm, you may. <laughs> can, can I have your <laughs> uh, Can I have your name? <laughs> oh yes. You may call me Maya. 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 Heavy on cool. Maya. I like that. Do you, do you mind if I call on you sometime? See, I'm doing a test. Uh, later this semester on owlbears, and I think your your understanding of how they taste uh, might be of great interest to me. So I made the quiz you later on on the consistency and the toughness and tenderness of that meat. The flavor too. That's very important. The flavor, very important. And the and the flavor, yes. That's In fact, do you mind if I have some? Hmm. Rips off a chunk and hands it to you. <laughs> I, I I take it and I try it. Uh, I am I am very hungry and interested, so I take a little bite off. <sighs> yep, that's that's Al Bear, all right, or so I think. <laughs> I take some notes down myself. <laughs> uh, roll an some reason. Check. What? Roll an intelligence oh. check. Ooh. Uh natural twenty, so twenty three. Wow. Uh, you're pretty sure that most people don't eat owl bears. This is to this is totally normal. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, I'm like now I'm like now, I'm like now starting the question that like the owl bear that that Ke uh, that Kina brought to like for us to study uh, as the example. Like I'm starting to think like this might be that owl bear. <laughs> <laughs> like my uh, just like may have killed it. <laughs> Is eating it. I love how you are the only character I've ever met who, with a nat 20, still thinks it's the other thing. <laughs> <laughs> this, is this is totally normal. Oh <laughs> I'm convinced that this is out there. So, it's actually just like chicken, right? It's probably <laughs> we're like yeah, a turkey leg. Yeah. Very large <laughs> chicken. So, Maya, um, you definitely have heard uh, just in the couple of days that he's been on campus about Nikitas and his dwarven buddy Bion. You know that they have uh, not been very subtle with anything. They've been very loud everywhere they go. Um, they disrupted orientation last night. Um, so yeah, you are pretty familiar with who he is at this point. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm just a nobody. I've, I just passed these halls just trying to do the whole school thing, you know? <laughs> mm, no, 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 no. You seem familiar. You seem... <laughs> Very familiar. Norman Claus. <laughs> um, no, I've, I've, I, I, I just blend in and I try to take a big bite of the chicken like, like she does trying to be gross and disgusting. <laughs> I'm like disgusted by it because I'm a vegetarian. <laughs> mm, this is this is what? great. This is this is delicious. I'm just see just norm, normal kid here doing normal things because my name's Normalitas. You understand? No, no. Norman. <coughs> no. Oh. You and Brian. Yes. Yeah. His 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 name is totally yeah. My my best friend. His his name is is Brian. Yes. Brian. So you have heard that they are trying to find out about this club on campus, which you are somewhat familiar with. Hey, so um, Maya, I have to, I have to ask, cause you are like my only friend here, believe it or not. <laughs> I know, I'm, I'm just as shocked and surprised as you are. Um, uh, sad life you have, I can already tell. <clears throat> Some of the other kids in my, or some of the other students in, in my dorm, uh, they were mentioning uh, a secret club 
where where people know things and they teach things and that's and kind of the gist I got, but it's like a really super cool exclusive club. And I, and I know my, my brother Bayan and I, or my friend Bayan and I rather, we're like brothers from another mother and father kind of thing. But uh, also lovers. <laughs> but also <laughs> lovers, but not lovers. <laughs> I'm um, confused. Uh, uh, we, uh... we want to know, we want to get into this club because that's what the normal kids are doing. I and mean, we just want to be, we want the whole school experience we've been homeschooled our whole life and this is our first social i mean you might be able to tell this is our first time in public interacting with social and social in, in environments now i suddenly look around there's like more people in here and i'm even more anxious so i get in closer i'm like so do you know anything about this secret club and how my my, my brother bon and i might be able to get in and my you absolutely know that like it is very secret and he is just openly basically yelling talking about that. it yeah. yeah it's very secret secret secret, <laughs> secret it's like fight club but he just yelled about it in the cafeteria yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know I that mean, club <laughs> <laughs> the super secret right. club Shh. <laughs> don't talk about it too loudly the secret club <laughs> uh as he's talking about this i try to quickly shove the bone in his mouth to make him stop talking as he's saying <laughs> all of this just uh, I would say roll, roll opposed strength checks. Oh, well, I've, I've, for that. Well, I have a minus oh, one. No. This isn't going to go too well for me. Yeah, uh, minus one. Strength is seven. Where is that for me? I think like her base modifier is is more than my entire roll. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's easily a not natural 20. Nice. Love a dirty 20. Um, yeah, so you just absolutely just shove this bone Go into on. his mouth. <laughs> Yo, I do, I do love Elbear. Mm -hmm. This is this is delicious. <coughs> you will be quiet about <laughs> the mystery, little sparrow. Oh, okay. <laughs> Should we go talk in private? Yes, let us. Okay, everybody, we're gonna go talk in private. <laughs> I feel like at this point, Maya has probably let go of the bone, and Nikitas just has it in his mouth still. Because yeah. he's so <laughs> just walk away. You're just <laughs> <laughs> see. This is this is the first taste of, of real meat I've had in a very long time. So like, I'm actually savoring the taste. <laughs> <laughs> you converted him from veganism to. Owlbear. That's like her primary goal in life is to make sure there are no vegans on this <laughs> earth. They are horrible. <laughs> they are what's wrong. <laughs> that is her personal agenda and veganism. Uh, well, you got your first convert. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> Fantastic. So uh, where are you going to lead Nikitas to? Uh, wherever it seems like the darkest, shadiest corner of the in the area for sure away from prying eyes and ears okay um so you're not very far away from the herbology classroom and you know that this time of morning there's there's nobody there because it's hard for people to stay awake in that class anyway and first thing in the morning no one wants no one wants to be in there perfect we'll go in there and I try to like strut around in what I think is a very like mysterious manner you know I, chill, you know? I mimic when everything I, up... I mimic everything she does <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> right uh, yes Nikitas, do you do you shift your form at all in response no okay no uh it's I, I think at this point Nikitas has gotten very used to being undercover um I, I don't think he'd make a foolish mistake like that I think he's he's got his con his shape-shifting under control yeah um well, he wants to trust me he wants to be a big burly orc person but he's going to settle for being he doesn't want to blow his cover as being the most normal kid in this entire school walking around with a giant barbarian orc lady <laughs> to the herbology classroom totally conspicuous totally discreet <laughs> All right, so you lead him into, uh, so the classroom is kind of like a greenhouse and it is just full of all sorts of exotic plants. Um, you see mostly a lot of flowers, um, 
And then at the far end, there's this like enormous, the bottom of it almost looks like a pineapple, kind of the like scaly brown. Um, and then at the top of it is a flower with a large mouth coming out of it. And it appears to be sleeping. I'm picturing like a victory bell from Pokemon. Yeah, <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> I would say more like Audrey too. Okay. Um, do have I ever seen this before? I mean, I've, I've been studying all my books in preparation for my classes. Do I have any uh, insight? Nature check. Will, yeah, nature or intelligence, whichever is better. <laughs> uh, natural, <laughs> na natural one. Oh. I've seen, and, and then and then like as I look at this thing, I like pull out my Pokemon cards. I'm like, look, I have this. <laughs> I have this Pokemon. <laughs> it's in my leaf deck. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you have absolutely no idea. You have never seen a plant. It, uh, do, do I notice that it's like living or breathing or just napping? Like, do I recognize it's like, like, am I going to like lean up against it? Because it's just, it's unknowing to me that it's like a, a victory flytrap type thing. Uh, so since, since I do play the nat ones are still crit fails, even on skill checks um, and nat 20 is obviously the opposite. Um, yeah, with your nat one, you are just like, that's just a really weird looking plant that will totally not do anything strange. And I feel compelled to lean up against it. <laughs> <laughs> Maya, oh, Maya, over here. Let's talk by the super conspicuous uh, big plant thing. Look at it for a really long time. Sounds good. Also, <laughs> next. <laughs> also lean up against it. So, my, so I, I imagine we're like not like facing each other. We're no. still just awkwardly like it's as if we're still trying to be like quiet about everything. So I still have to like turn and like whisper to you because you're like on the <laughs> other side. <laughs> yeah, you guys are like facing opposite directions. You're just like leaned, trying yeah, to be cool. Cool, casual. Like, hey, so about this secret club, we can talk about it now because we're totally in secret. Yes. So does, does nothing happen to us, Rick? <laughs> I not yet. I mean, not that I'm asking. I'm just, <laughs> yeah. you know, this is, you not know, yet. this this is fine. Yeah. We'll continue. <laughs> Nothing needs to happen. Uh, real First quick, plot. Please. Yeah. Uh, Maya, roll an intelligence check for me. Or nature, whichever is better. Okay. What, what's better between those two? <laughs> uh, that's going to be a flat 10. I got okay. a 7. You don't get to roll again, Tim. <laughs> oh, sorry. I thought, you, I thought you said you both roll. I'm sorry. No. Just Maya. Well, I failed. Uh, so with a 10, you don't know a lot about this, but you know that it is definitely a little bit dangerous. Hmm. But I feel like you're also trying to be kind of cool, so you probably don't care. Yeah, okay. So yeah, I definitely want to be like, like knowing this, I'm kind of like glancing up <laughs> and I want to note where it seems like the mouth is and try to like shift and like push him around so he's under the mouth and then I, i'll feel a little better about that because yeah, i don't know yeah. this is happening i still think we're friends yeah i mean basically i feel like you're kind of making sure that if it woke up he's gonna get eaten and you can run away oh yeah oh 100 yeah. <laughs> percent. nice yeah so you want to know about and i like turn and look over at him like the mystery do you? Yeah. The mystery, well, it's the mystery club. We're talking about the same thing, right? The club where people know things and teach people things. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 What else? Not talking? convinced at all. <laughs> 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 but this is the only lead I have going into it. So I'm all in. <laughs> <laughs> See, the thing is about the mystery. Is that not everyone is allowed to know about it? You have to be deserving to know about the secrets and everything about that. So you're gonna have to prove yourself. Yeah. You have to prove okay. Yourself. Um, I did read that in most college and university experiences, there is a hazing period to get into the really cool clubs, and I am prepared to go through mine. My initiation, if you will. So I'm prepared for the trials to get into the mystery. Yeah, I think it's called Hazeme. Hazeme. 
<laughs> yes. <laughs> Good. Good. I, I, I knew you were the right one to talk to, Norway. Yes. Um, it's, it's Normalitas, but if you keep forgetting my name, that's probably for the best. <laughs> so, yes. yes. Oh, Nor Norway yeah. it is. <laughs> I remember everything, Norwegian. So, <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There are three feats that you must accomplish if you are to be worthy. I did eat meat today. That's that's not one of them. That's just a okay. basic normal thing. I just wanted to let you know. <laughs> that was the yeah. pretext. That was, <laughs> yeah. That's what got me this meeting. <laughs> that was a trial. Free interview. <laughs> we determined you are not vegan, so so far so good. First one is a feat of strength. Uh, yes. You're gonna have to um prove how strong you are and like flexes her giant upper body muscles and well starts some say sh well some say strength can come in the form of intelligence and and the strength of one's will and mind well will that suffice as well or, or is this a physical thing yes <laughs> damn i should have, should, should have left it open like that Done. okay nope. <laughs> prove physical strength okay tell me you tell me what is strength to you and prove it spectacularly strength to me is having the courage to stand up for what's right and when you see a friend or something wrong going on in the world and it's an injustice you stand up and you fight for you you you, you fight for the right thing that's that's what true strength is what yep Keep I going. meant to, no. I meant to say, strength is lifting up heavy things and dropping them. Ah, yeah. So you do understand. To totally. And in this moment, I will take the opportunity while uh, while Maya is not looking to use my shapeshifting abilities to bulk up a little bit. Like, like at this point, I'm going to physically alter my body to like, you know, get like a chiseled body, a uh, little bigger build, cut. And then, like, I'm like, I'm gonna pull on the V a little bit on my, on my, uh, I'm gonna slit a little V inside of my shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Pop my hair up. <laughs> I got Love three it. collars. I got three coll collars on. <laughs> They're all popped. Uh, yeah. Do I notice this change at all? <laughs> What's your passive perception? Twelve. Yeah, you you notice. It's not very subtle. Seems to totally, totally, uh, totally strong. Uh, they, they call me Strong Alatas. Yeah, because because I'm so strong. Stronger than all. I'm stronger than most. <laughs> strong most of so, us. So, Nikitas, um, roll a perception check. Well, that's the second bet one of the day. Oh my god. Jeez. That, like it's almost like the game wants me to get eaten by this thing. <laughs> yes. So yeah, um, it actually rolled on that 20. Um, so as you guys are conversing, oh, no. Maya, you notice that it is like starting to move a little bit, starting to like lean down over strong all the time. Um and Tim, you just have like this green sap-like substance come down onto your face. I'm gonna react immediately to that and look up. <laughs> and you see this like toothy maw hovering above you from that plant that was totally not gonna do that. <laughs> <laughs> no one saw it coming. <laughs> uh, oh crap, I, I guess I'm going to I'm looking at all my abilities. I'm not combat ready at all. Oh, I, I have an idea. At, like, does, does it look like it's coming down at me? Oh, yeah. It, it looks like it's going to eat you. I want to uh, raise up my hand and say, no! Uh, and then a sh I'm going to cast shield. Uh, an aura of, of, of magic emanates from around my focus, which I guess is like, I haven't really established that. It's probably my book. And, and it's going to create a barrier around me to protect me from this giant gaping mall of this plant okay 
Uh, what is your AC with shield? 18. Okay. Um, yeah, so it like tries to crunch down on you and hits this magical barrier. Would it have hit me otherwise? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Good car. <laughs> Good car. I, and now I'm just going to, I'm like, whew, look how strong I am. Yeah. And my muscles bulge even more on that arm holding up the shield. Yeah, and then um, I'm just going to slowly, slowly creep away. Like I'm going to try to <laughs> disengage this thing now. So Maya, um, roll, I guess, Arcana. Ooh. Yeah, that's an 11. I mean, you kind of suspect that he might have done something magical, but you couldn't say what. Like, even though you go to a magic school... We're in a wizard school! I use shield! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no one said that she's a good student. <laughs> also, yeah. <laughs> This so, is how yeah. strong I am. I can hold off beasts with just my mind. <laughs> yeah, so you, you suspect that he probably did something magical, but you can't prove it. All right, so I, do, do I successfully back away from this thing? Yeah, yeah, you did. All right, so, as you can see, I demonstrated my strength against that monstrous beast. It's called a strong plant. <laughs> and I totally... And I totally uh, so I blocked that attack. You see that? Because I'm strong. So do, do I pass that test? Wait, can I make a persuasion check? <laughs> Depends I mean, on your persuasion. <laughs> I was gonna say you can you can just try and persuade another PC. <laughs> I rolled a I rolled a 19 with that awesome solid defense. <laughs> uh so Maya, I'm gonna say you probably took this class before, maybe a couple of times, like three or four times. Um, so you, you recognize the dragon's mouth plant and you know that it, it's pretty tough. And someone like Nikitas does not seem like they could take it by themselves, but he just survived getting bitten by it. Uh, I am like, I don't know if I should roll for this, but I'm like slightly sweating from this. I did not expect that. So I'm just like reevaluating everything in my mind. And I'm trying to like on the outside be like, I am on base. I would say give me a wisdom save. Okay. Oh good. Okay, so that's a nine. Yeah, I, I would definitely say the 19 would beat that. So I mean Yeah. Yeah, okay. Cause, so, yeah, because yeah, I'm totally strong. Yeah, so what's like the next feat that I mentioned I ate meat today? <laughs> Back of my mind, I'm like, fuck. Okay, so, yeah, okay. All right, strong guy. Uh, a fourth Aww. collar just popped up and more muscles are bulging. Not even trying to be subtle this time. <laughs> yeah. It's like, yeah, I'm tough. <laughs> this might be my new persona. Negatos is really like, he's liking this. <laughs> he's never going to okay. go back to his normal self. <laughs> no, he's just going to go to the gym. He's going to become a gym bro. Swole toss. Uh, Swole toss. Love it. Okay. Well, that was the first one. There are two more that you're going to have to prove yourself against. Um... You seem quite persuasive. You seem very uh, sly. What's yeah, I'm, I'm proficient that? in that, actually. <laughs> I'm very yes. per per proficient in persuasion. Okay, okay. You're going to have to convince a small group of people, let's say at least five. You're going to have to convince them of something. I want to see your leadership. I want to see your persuasion in action. Can you uh, use that on some of our fellow students? Done. <laughs> As Nikitas is like sweating, he's like, crap. <laughs> As they're sweating, like, he's like deflating now, losing collars, losing his muscles. <laughs> they're both like silently sweating, like, oh, I hope this works. Oh, I hope I can do it. Ah. <laughs> Uh, is this only one person? Yeah, it's only one creature. Okay. Um, 
Which I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to say, this is, this is no problem. I, I totally got this. And meanwhile, like, you know, Nikitas is like severely anxiety driven. Uh, <laughs> so this is like really like, this is really like the, his biggest nightmare. I'll take that plan any day over having to confront a group of people. Uh, so he's going to uh, get the carriage to go back into the cafeteria. And he is going to look around and he's going to see uh, posters on the wall of the upcoming elections for class president. And he is going to take the opportunity to give his pitch uh, to the student body to get at least five people to support him in the, how he thinks things could be uh, changed around here. Okay. Uh, but so, before but before he does this, he is he is no stranger to being uh, to manipulating people because he grew up in the streets. This is what he did. So before he does this, uh, he's going to go around the lunchroom one by one and try to personally talk to people to find out what they hate about the school or what they would like to see improvements on. Uh, or, or, or if I can um, bribe them into picking me. So I'm going to try all these things. Basically, I'm casting friend. Or, or, they don't have the unlimited money. <laughs> well, yeah. well, I'm not going to say I have... I have, I have, a, I have, a, I have a friends in very powerful places, but I do have uh, six uh, uh, um, spell slots left, and I can cast. Oh no, is that a second level spell suggestion? All right, I can cast suggestion on three people who I don't do a really good job of of actually persuading, <laughs> but I can cast friend on everybody else. Okay. Um... So who are you looking for? Like you said, you want to go and kind of talk to people. So yeah, uh, it doesn't really matter. I guess I'm trying to win as many different groups of people as I can. So I just start the interview process of of uh, just one one by one, like going from group to group to group to group, asking them what their pain points are. I don't know if we want to go through and role play all that, but I'm just right. really trying to understand the problems. I'm actually trying to be a good class president here. <laughs> trying, to understand, <laughs> trying to understand the real problems and the crux of the problem in this place and turn things around for my fellow students. Gosh darn it. Okay. So yeah. as as the two of you walk in, uh, a group of students are like, Maya, what's up? And so Nikitas, you, you kind of notice that there's like this group of Jim Bro and whatever the the female version of bro and brouette brouette yeah 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 Jim Bro uh, and, Jim Brouette and i whisper to maya uh, I, I whisper to maya hey are they um are, are they part, part of the co-club too you tell me what do you see what do you see with your eyes narwhal they like grab his head and like uh, can I make them real hard? Can I can I make an insight check or an investigation check to see if I can like determine if uh, they appear to be part of that group or not? Yeah, I, I like insight. I meant to say per perception. Damn it! <laughs> Why is it? Oh, natural twenty. So twenty one. Hey, that's all you're getting. Yeah, one's <laughs> <Pretty> extreme. <laughs> one's <is> 20. <laughs> that's you amazing. Get a quarter, Tim. It'll be the same tip. <laughs> hey. Um, so yeah, with your 20, you're like, uh, I don't know if they would be part of like the secret knowledge club, but at least it would be, you know, some people you might have a little bit more pull with because you're kind of standing next to Maya. Ah, so I'm like, so now instantly I'm like, okay, I think I'm like, I could use this to my advantage. I walk behind Maya and I put my collars back on and my muscles swell back up. I'm like... Are there are there at least five of them? Yeah. I'm like, hey, bros and brosettes. I'm just chilling with my new best friend, Maya, here. Uh, we're talking about how both of us are going to be president and vice president of this bitch. Yeah, we're going we're gonna to run shit here. And we're going to turn things around for people like us. Uh, Maya's and... helping in the background, just, oh, like posing. <laughs> and then I want to then I wanna cast Minor Illusion uh to have like to like uh, cast um a a uh, an image of a, a campaign banner that has both of our faces on there and it says make strict haven great again <laughs> oh where are we at sorry crap we're at we're not a hamstring where are we pandaros pandaros yeah this is only episode seven <laughs> all right i i still feel like i never knew that 
Yeah. Make Panderos great again. Uh, and then vote for class president Maya and vice president Strong Molotos. No, but I say Swalatos. Swalatos. See, I made, I made you president because I think that'll help my chances. <laughs> I totally came up with that. So what do you think? You want you want to vote for us? We're, we're going to run these dweebs. And then, like, I walk over to a dweeb and, like, I toss over his, like, food. Like, I just, like, off the table. And then I slip him, like, a 20. <laughs> like, just go along with it. <laughs> Me not taking the hint. I just come up and punch him. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, With our performance, are we gathering the, the support of the crowd? Well, you're, you're gathering some support. I, I would All say right. roll, roll a performance. I rolled a 21 performance check. Okay. So the uh, the gym crowd is just like, yeah, and all flex their muscles. And all six of them are like, they seem like they might vote for you but they also seem like they might forget who you are as soon as you walk away. Like, hold on, let me see what I can do here. With the, uh, I walk over to Maya. I'm like, Maya, I know that like this, we're, we're trying to like get into the, to the secret knowledge club and all, but like, I think we actually stand a chance of becoming president and vice president. We have to make a huge statement right here, right now. <laughs> what do we do? This is it for us. Yeah, I'm not going to peak in high school. I'm going to peak in college. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a better just time. Like a, a voice in the back of your head, Nikitas, is like, Demos. <laughs> <laughs> not even a little bit. <laughs> Swalatas. Nope, swat. Meat, protein. <laughs> All brain cells are gone now. <laughs> uh, like now I'm like having another banner that goes up and says, uh, protein shakes, the only the only food of choice. <laughs> Mix of meat and protein. <laughs> <laughs> and then I cast like minor illusion again of like of like what that would look like. Just this is like uh protein shake bottles and protein powder everywhere. Yeah! Like we're gonna we're not gonna become the school of knowledge, we're gonna become the school of swall. Swall, yeah. And then and if anybody is doubting me, I do want to cast starts yelling along with you. All right, they're going to remember this for sure. Perfect. Perfect. All right, so then I go back to Maya. I'm like, so now that we're going to be president and vice president, I think that shows <laughs> that, we, that the two of us together were great leaders. So I'm just going to take the uh, the liberty here and check that off on the checklist that uh, that we passed this with flying colors. And we do have to have a meeting later, at least like maybe once a week standing meeting where we come and we talk about the real problems, maybe have a box of like a mystery box or like a – um, like a silent box of where people put suggestions in. Suggestions and maybe we read and them and we actually try to make make a real change in this place. What do you think? <laughs> oh, we'll start yeah. with the protein, like the but but who knows? Like we could do like longer lunches. We could we can do where <laughs> people can like do like a rating system on the teachers and be able to pick the teacher that that teaches what class. Like we we can really do some cool things here. Oh, I totally agree. Like I, I mean, if you haven't noticed, a lot of these people that are into magic, pretty freaking weak. We need to beef them up. We need yeah, to yeah, free... muscle. Ugh. Seriously, right? <laughs> we need to make sure that these guys are not only strong in mind, but strong in muscle. <laughs> I think we're speaking the same language. I, I can't comprehend language. Yeah, we're speaking <laughs> this. We're speaking the same language here. I Perfect. love how you're just blowing through all of these spell slots. All they do. They're all worth it. Well, actually, copyright language is a ritual. I would. I would have to spend ten minutes though. <laughs> like, wait, yeah, let's keep talking. <laughs> ten minutes okay. of us going back and forth. I'm like, I finally get it. I'm like, I understand. <laughs> oh, beautiful. Uh, so that that is not a spell slot, actually, to to use that apparently. So yeah, if you oh, cast wow. that ritual. Um. All right. So, all right, Maya. Like, I'm feeling really good now. Like, we we bested that plant. And now we're president and vice president of this entire school. Like, what else can we do yeah, to prove that happen. I am a worthy candidate for the mystery club? And yeah, also, whatever bro club that is, I want to be a part of that, too. I want to start lifting. <laughs> I know, now. yeah, the bros and broettes. They're cool. The, bra, the, the they're bras cool. and broettes, yeah. They're definitely the ones to see around, yep. Uh, yeah, in the back of her mind, she's really thinking. She's actually kind of changing gears because she's like, 
I have power now. What can I do with this power? <laughs> you know, it's really like- I just elevated your social status from like a nobody to being like the yeah, it exactly. the it factor in this entire you school. Immediately turned into Darth Sidious with unlimited power. <laughs> It's growing. I feel it. <laughs> Cackling maniacally in the corner. Yeah, I'm just trying to. I'm imagining a world like just annihilating all the vegans, and it's just a meat topia where everyone is just bulging with muscles and beef and uh she's just like lost cholesterol. This fantasy right now so much cholesterol. <laughs> yeah it's okay they may not live very long but you know what it's fine yeah uh, <laughs> raising everything blood pressure cholesterol all of it <laughs> oh yes perfect that's all that's all she ever wanted uh yes yes oh can't lose focus we will have to talk about this later we're gonna have to you know you're the vp you're gonna have to schedule and everything you're gonna have to remind me of all this stuff that we're gonna have to focus on and all that uh and yeah yeah, I'm not good at making decisions, but I'm really good at all the other stuff. Excellent, excellent. Uh, good job, Nom Nom Tops. All right, so <laughs> the third, the third and final thing. It's eat meat, uh, right? I mean, I mean, I feel like at this point we we know each other very well. I'm, I'm pretty sure you're <laughs> gonna say eat meat. Nope. Nope. Ah, you, you almost got me. And then the ah! Literally, I was going to do that, but now I can't do that because of Oh, <laughs> man, I messed up. Uh, do, I have, do I have one of those uh, memory jelly beans? <laughs> you forget <laughs> less than seconds. <laughs> these are going to come in my handy. Here, eat some of these. Shove. Okay. Uh, who's moving your jaw? Okay. Um, yes, the final thing that, uh, that, that they look for to truly prove that you are worthy uh, i'm going to give you a password you will have to give that password to another one of us and they in turn will give you the answer and you will know with that answer that you are in so you're going to have to use your skills that you have learned just now of strength and persuasion to find the others of us and if you do find another pass on that password and they will respond in kind and you will know you are in i understand the assignment ma'am your majesty or whatever you call the president <laughs> your majesty <laughs> that works yep correct yes <laughs> uh, what is the password uh, so, what you're going to have to say to them is, and like, like crouches down low, like looking around, making Shh, sure yeah. nobody's listening. Do you want to go back to the plant? Say, like, oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, smart. Let's go back to the plant. Go back to the plant. <laughs> Shh, go, 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 go. I'm not touching it this time. I'm not falling for it again. <laughs> All right, we get back to the plant. Do a double check. All right. So, the first part is. When the crow flies. That's it. <laughs> okay, I got it. Uh, give me 10 minutes. Wow, okay. Uh, All right, I'll, I'll be, I'll be right I'm, I'm gonna, yeah. nope, no, I have to, uh, uh, yep, nope, you go, you go. That's I mean, I can, if, uh, if you want to follow me, I can make you go invisible and you can just follow nope. along. No, you won't even know I'm there. I'll be so sneaky. I'm pretty sure. No, I'm pretty sure. Okay. <laughs> you don't know. <laughs> You're right. I don't know. Uh, so, like, I'm so like, I'm so, I feel like I'm underestimating your abilities here because you somehow, through through Nikitas, has convinced him to now oh, elevate right. your status to president of the darn school. So I think I you're mean, smarter than you look. <laughs> <laughs> your yes. powers of manipulation far exceed my own. That's what's happening. <laughs> uh, what, what exactly is your plan here i already have one uh the plan is i know for a fact that the that the students in my dorm room who were talking last night are a part of this group so my plan is to just seek them out and ask them the password it's got to be as simple as that now i don't know that she's making this up so i have no idea what answer these assholes are going to give me yeah i mean you don't know she could be making it up. She could be uh, so I am going to go find uh, back in the common room uh, where they hang out. Uh, one of the like one of the little gaggle of people that were there, 
and and just try to question one of them or pull them aside and ask them the question. Okay. I uh, want to be like stealthily trying to watch all of this. As no, you. I'm thing. sorry. I you have to wait out. You're not allowed in the in the dorm room of. And you fully. Yeah, that's why I'm that... going to do it stealthily. <laughs> Mr. And you fully know that that's not a rule, but you also know that he doesn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah. come on in. I like I like bring her through like the fat lady's portrait, and we we get into the it's dorm room. It's just a door. It's just a door. It's just a door. <laughs> I put an illusion. I put an illusion of a fat lady's <laughs> portrait. And we walk through it, and and then I, I find one of the kids. Or are they together? Or do I find one that I could like pick off? Uh, you see, like. A couple of them are studying. Uh, another one is napping. And then one of them is just kind of like, like standing in the corner, just kind of like facing it. Okay, can I make an insight check and see which one of them, well, which one of them seems to be the most weak minded? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Uh, 14. Uh, so the one standing in the corner. Yeah, that was my go-to too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I walk over to the corner. Uh, and I'm like, all right, Maya, watch this. Walk all nonchalant over over to the corner. I'm trying to hide in. Like, can I roll for stealth to see if I actually somehow blend in? Or absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> okay. I feel like she's gonna come. All right, let me. You, you roll first, and then I'll then I'll react. Uh. I, okay. Uh, a fifteen. Not bad, not bad. Uh, let me so, see if I see her. Uh, I rolled, like I rolled a. a perfect... <laughs> she's there. That doesn't count. All right, I rolled a twenty. <laughs> like I know she's there, but like I feel like it's a pretty good. She's doing a pretty good job. But just to so, like to solidify the deal, I'm gonna cast a second level uh, spell slot to cast invisibility on her, just so that she like I'm making sure like I can't have her blow my cover. Like this is a big moment for me. This is the last and final step for me to be in the knowledge club. I have no and, idea that the spell takes effect, though. I imagine, like, maybe there's, like, a tree <laughs> or it's, like, really bushy up top, so I just kind of, like, so, stand behind it so perfectly. <laughs> one of the kids who was, or I guess they're not kids. You keep saying kids, Tim. Threw me off. No, no, they're actually, I meant to say students. <laughs> yeah. One of the, the students who was studying, like, had made eye contact with you, Maya. Like, you fully acknowledged that you guys were making eye contact. And then you don't know that you turn invisible, but they're just like, their eyes bulge out. And then they just look back down. Like, hey, I'm just like, yeah, I got it. I got it. They fear me. They fear me. The iron right. fist. <laughs> I'm going to all nonchalantly walk over to the, to the, to the weird guy in the corner and be like, Hey, what's up, bro? I'm still in my gym, my gym swole thing. Uh, Cause I think like everyone in this club is like a gym bro. I'm like, yo bro, yo, that wall looks really cool, huh? <laughs> and he just like turns around at you and stares blank faced, like dead eyed. Yeah, simple minded. I picked the right one. All right. <laughs> I don't say that out loud. That's in my, it's internal. <laughs> but a like, little bit out loud. <laughs> okay. You might, you know, you, you might be proud of me. I'm i uh, I'm going to niche you for the knowledge club. I'm on my final test. But uh, I know, I know, I'm a pretty impressive feat. I'm the class president with Maya. You may know Maya because she's also in the Knowledge Club. We're like really tight now. We're president and vice president. But, I love uh, how you go back and forth between you being president and her being president. <laughs> oh, she's president. <laughs> Maybe, but together we are the presidency in, in its entirety. Um, but you see, uh, titles. Uh, here's my, my last test is I had to seek one of, one of the Knowledge Brothers out and, uh, and ask them the, the password and response. Apparently, this is part of the deal. It's which really weird to me too. Like I get it, but um, <laughs> how are you taking this conversation right now? Are you surprised? Did you always think that Swallow Toss would be would be your next member? Because I didn't. I woke up this morning. And I'm like, damn, I really want it, but it wasn't until after breakfast. I was like, damn, I'm going to get it. So that's my persuasion and my strength <laughs> showcasing itself to you. So I beat up a I beat up a plant, man. <laughs> beat up a plant. So he has absolutely no reaction. This is just stone faced, dead eyed. And he just says the password. Oh yeah, yeah. When he says when he says the password and he like seems to be planning <laughs> along with this, like my mind's like I like settling in my head, I think this whole time that she's that I'm being fucked with. But now I'm like, oh shit, the password. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, fuck. 
<laughs> behind the like bush or whatever that I'm hiding in, I like poke my head out. <laughs> my eyes are huge as I watch. <laughs> and now no one sees you because you're invisible. Both of the, well, both of the students who are studying are just like the plant looking moves. over their shoulders at the bush and just terrified because they don't see anything there. They just see like the bush starts oh, to split just, apart. It's just this <laughs> random hole in the middle. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I say, I whisper into his ear, bro, when the crow flies. And as soon as you, as soon as you say that, he just starts to walk. Like he pushes you out of the way and starts to walk. I get it. I understand the assignment. The response is silence. Dude, that's so deep. That's so deep. I'm amazed that, that, that the, the intricacies of this club, of this, of this uh, club, and the knowledge, and the men—they're wise. And as so you're I, like saying this out loud, he is already walking out the door. I <laughs> take this as a victory. I cast Mage Hand, and I, and I want to like high five, uh, Maya in the bushes. <laughs> uh, Maya is like so stunned that the she doesn't even see. The high five and it just like, <laughs> <laughs> and it breaks the invisibility <laughs> amazing amazing and so like this happens as this stone-faced student is walking past they have absolutely no reaction to any of it like they they have no emotional response no anything like they don't even look in your direction as you become visible again can i make an insight check i here? mean I, I was gonna say like they seem like there's something maybe enchanted um something well, like yeah on. i wanted to see if they were like a, one of those golems that we ran into like are they a dps i mean okay. so the the constructs were like metallic they had spherical crystal head this is just like a normal human through through an arcana check like could, could i see if like his mind was being manipulated by magic or if he was just that dumb uh i i would say you don't even have to roll like you can tell that there is some magic going on here so I picked the simple-headed one, but really he just was no-headed. His, his mind was compromised. <laughs> but I'm going to keep that to myself internally and go back to Maya and be like, Maya, I did it. The, the answer to when the crow flies, the, the response is silence because they're silent as night because they're crows. This is, so, dude, I did Maya, it. Maya, you, you know that you had been told the password before, but you weren't sure it was legit either. Just like Megatoss had no idea that you were being legit um but you know that like you have to be led to where they meet because it changes all the time and you're pretty sure that this stone-faced person is probably headed towards where you're supposed to go my i did it i did it like like i'm so excited i'm in like what's the next steps like oh my god i'm so yeah. excited like my, my brother biology would be so excited and this guy oh. is already out the door like you can see him. He's walking down the street. He's already like a couple hundred feet down. He's walking pretty fast. I've been cheering for a while now. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, as I'm saying, like, yeah, I try. I want to try to like pick him up and like follow after the guy. Like, yeah, Cap, yeah, you did so good. This is exactly part of the plan. Think it's us. Do you allow that, or do you like? Yeah, you heck yeah. I'm like, I'm like a huge high. I'm so, I'm so into what's happening next. Like now, I'm ready for the next phase of the initiation. <laughs> So I, as I'm being pulled, I'm like, I take out my notebook and I'm like, check. Oh, you're not being pulled. You're like, like a plant. Yeah, manhattan, like, like being grabbed. Yeah. All right. It's a comical, right? I'm like being held in her arms. I'm like, check. Yeah. You're just like casually just still able to move. And I'm just like, <gasps> yeah. Trying like, I, I, as I'm being walked, I'm like, Maya, I'm really, I'm really glad I woke up this morning, but I'm also glad that I met you this morning as well. Cause you you might have just turned dark. you might have just turned my yeah i know uh, yeah it's a, it's a dark life we live uh i'm, I'm really excited to, to, to have met you like you're really gonna turn my life around my brother bion is gonna be so jealous but like i think i think you and i like as we're walking being carried I'm like i think you and i need to do this whole initiation thing with him and like we'd be more strict on him yeah we, yeah we set the bar higher for him for sure his name's bion or brian as you call him right yeah yeah, this why I like there's like a half second where I like stop, pull you forward, and there's like tears in my eyes. And I'm like, 
You're a good person. <laughs> Tuck you back under. Continue. <laughs> yeah, I love that image of just Maya having him like on her side. And he's just yeah. like draped and stiff as a board. Yeah, just not draping, just like <laughs> as if he's standing. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. Um, yeah, so you follow this student and he yeah. just kind of like twists and turns through some alleys before he walks into the shadow in between two buildings and seemingly disappears. Well, you you saw that, right? Like I definitely gone. saw that. Yeah. He's gone. Set you down. Um, are we supposed to follow? Is it is that part of the test? Uh yes. We need to it's another one. Uh, ha, 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 ha. there's more than uh, three. A secret you. fourth one. Oh, you <laughs> got third, me. You got me to write one. it down. <sighs> yep. I'm gonna uh, put this in my journal. All well, right. The, the next one is where did he go? You have to. He use went right there. Wiles to. No, he just find. he walked through right. He walked through right there. It's. it's I walk. <laughs> <laughs> I, follow, I follow where he went. I grab Maya's hand and I walk. I'm like he went this way, obviously. And, and I follow. And I follow along. All right. So as you walk into this shadow, um, you emerge into an ornate stone room. Like this is a very. Uh, well built. Somebody put a lot of work into this. Uh, it's like marble floors with these solid marble pillars supporting it. Three on each side um, with torches kind of like ensconced to where you can't see them, but the light that they give off is enough that you can see very clearly. Um, and in between the pillars, you see robed figures with hoods drawn over their face. And there is a raised dais in the middle of the room. And on it, you see what looks like possibly a person under a sheet. Maya, you guys into this some really fucked up shit. <laughs> I just kind of put hand like on his face. <laughs> so as you guys are kind of like trying to be quiet and not be, uh, I guess, noticed by everyone, they begin to chant in like this deep, uh, unknown language. Can I take this opportunity to cast Comprehend Languages? Or is it still active? Or is that still active from when I did it before? It lasts for uh, one hour. It, it doesn't actually do anything. Like you can't tell. It almost seems like it's not a, like a standard language. It's not one that's known. Mm, I understand the literal meaning of any spoken language. Well, oh, hold on, hold on. I'm sorry. This spell doesn't decode a secret messages in a text or glyph. Oh, wait, never mind. Take it back. <laughs> I understand spoken language. <laughs> it, it still seems like there's something. You get the gist? Yeah. And even the I secret mean, glyphs there, there are something, there's something secret to it it's like it's a a made-up language potentially that even a spell wouldn't necessarily be able to decipher like you have to know it can i cast message at the kid who walked in you don't see him oh shit okay oh. um I'm like maya all right i feel a little weirded out now what are we supposed to do? Is that a is, is that a person on the is that, is that person dead? Is this a, uh, is this like is this a cult? Uh, I mean, I'm not against it if it is. Yeah, this might be a bad time to tell you that I have no idea what's going on, uh, and I don't know how we got here at all. I'm actually not part of this at all. I kind of wanted to get in just like you did, and I thought I would use you to get you here, and I didn't think it would happen, and now we are here, and I don't know what to do. <laughs> Funny. So funny. I kind of suspected that all along, but we are still president and vice president. But we're but you got me here at least. So I mean I gotta yeah, I gotta respect your game because game respect game, you know, yeah, as bros and broettes. Yep. Um and but in this together now. So as, okay. as you guys have this conversation, um, <laughs> from the opposite end of the room, you see this robed figure who just kind of appears out of thin air. They start walking in and as they take further steps, they start to become more and more visible. 
And as they approach the table in the middle, they pull back their hood and you see that they have a mask, like a, almost, it looks like a cloth covering possibly. Um, and you guys as your characters wouldn't necessarily recognize what this is, but you as like modern people um, would recognize that this is like a mask with hoses coming off of it. Mm. So like one on each side, um, almost like some sort of breathing apparatus. And on his face, like he has these goggles that appear, um, Nikitas, you would probably recognize better than Maya. Um, like these seem like some sort of tinkerer's glasses, like some sort of magical tinkering. Okay. Hmm. I'm like, Maya, suddenly I don't feel like I want to be here anymore. I feel like it's a body over there. I think they killed somebody. Uh, um, do you, I think this we have a, is... We have a choice to make. We can go in and go all in and say we belong here, or we can do the right thing and, and tell the principal and teachers what's going on here. <laughs> we, can, we, we can rat them out. As president and vice president, they'll have to believe us. We don't know who they are, though. They're all cloaked. We need a way to like get some kind of identity, some kind of name. Like if we just leave now, this might be our only chance to see who it actually is. You're you're right. Um, stay stay here. I want to get closer, and I want to cast invisibility on myself. Okay. And I want to sneak up closer to. Um, where they're all at to see if I can garnish any or garner any more details about who they are and more specifically what is on the dais like is it a person is it like a robot thing is it a construct like what's what, what's under who was under there so you you can't tell what's under there even as you get closer uh, it looks humanoid but you can't I want to I want to lift the I want to lift it like sleight of hand lift it so I don't know that sleight of hand would work because they're all focused on this dais oh they're focused on the dais okay they're all looking at it yeah yeah I mean, okay they're, they're all uh, then then what i want to do is from a stealth or sleight of hand perspective i want to see if i could pull out any type of like credentials or like a student id badge or or anything like that like not not even on them but like there's school bags nearby something i could like sift through to see if i can get, uh gather who they are so as, as you're kind of searching around, they don't have anything that like identifies them as students. They all have very um, like nondescript robes. And you notice that like even as you're close in front of them and you look up, it's almost like shadows cover their faces to mask their identities. Oh, man, I know what that's like. Uh, can, can um, oh, I have an idea. I want to go like to like further like like away from them a little bit, and I want to cast message to uh, Maya, and I want to say uh, so I want to point to her and say, "Do they get rid of the whole?" I can say whatever I want. I thought there was like twenty five sent twenty five words. I guess they did away with that. I could just oh, nice. whisper a message. Oh, God. Huh. I, I just point a finger over at Maya and I say, "Maya, I need to know what's under that uh, under that tarp." make it make a distraction make it big so mm. as you say that you well, whispered it very very quietly whispered well, that through I mean, message yeah, I know. yeah it, it it's not that they like heard you or anything okay but like as you're saying that it just is a, a coincidence that this figure with his mask walks up to the dais and whips up this um this covering, right? Cancel that, cancel that, cancel that. (laughs) Abort, 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 abort. (laughs) As it raises up into the air, it just disappears. And on the table, you see sort of a a mix of things. You see what looks like a human torso with uh, like patchwork, stitched up rabbit's legs, but like a heron gone, like a human-sized rabbit. Um, 
you see that their eyes are wide open. One of them is a normal looking human eye and it's just like a plain brown. The other one seems a little bit bigger, like it almost doesn't quite fit into the socket. And I look at I look at it and say, "Oh no, Nina, what did they do to you?" Nina. Yes. I don't. For I don't full metal. For full metal alchemist. Metal. Oh my god! My <laughs> heart. No. Oh, just just wait. No. Just wait. Uh, I'm so no. No, I know where this is going. I know where it's going. I don't like it. I completely <laughs> forgot. Like in the moment, I was just like, "What?" I don't remember Nina in the campaign. Oh my god. Um, oh. And you both would recognize because as as this covering is taken off, the dais starts to lean forward. So this form is like standing up facing both of you, kind of facing the, the way you came in. And Nikitas roll, I'd say probably perception or maybe insight. I'm going to go up perception. It's a little bit better. Uh, 12, nine, 9 plus 3. Okay. Even with the 12, you recognize Demos. No! No! Right out of the gate like that? Come on. <laughs> Fuck. Like, wait, what parts of Demos? Like, like is... Like, is... All, right, all the human parts are Demos. And, what, and what, what parts are human? How would I recognize Demos? Uh, so, again, like, the, the torso, the face... All of that. The only things that are not. What about the butt? What about the butt? Uh, it Plus does have part. a strange tail. They took his butt. Okay. So it looks like Demos minus his butt. Well, okay. So the the butt is a rabbit because it's like waist down. Oh, uh, oh, okay. I see. Down. Okay. Yeah. And so, like, instead of the rabbit oh, no. tail, it has essentially like a, a barbed demon's tail. A uh, question. Um. I, I've worked with Demetrios for a very long time. Uh-huh. Is it is it canon that I've ever met his brother before? Have I ever met Demos? Yeah. You have so been, yeah. so when I look at Demos's, I guess what his eyes look like now, do I only sense one what only, only one, one of them? Yeah. Do I sense any type of intelligence or sense of Demos behind them? Absolutely. Oh no! No! <laughs> Fuck me! Oh. Like I almost, like I feel like, if you will allow me, I want to make a Constitution roll okay. to see if to see if I can maintain my invisibility because of my in my incredible shock. Then, like I feel if, like my concentration will be broken. When have I ever not let you roll something that's gonna fuck you over? <laughs> uh, yeah, when so you me, offer it on a platter. Yeah. Hold on, as a Constitution. That's what you had said. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Sixteen. So, so like, I, I feel like mentally, like it breaks me, right? But, but, but like, I, I can hold up my 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 facade or my visage of myself as as invisible. But I, I'm wavering. Like, I'm quivering in my feet and don't know what yeah. to do. Like, part of me is is torn between killing everybody, knowing I'm not a very violent person, and like hoping that Amaya is just the brutal monster that I need her to be, the savage I need her to be. But then the other part of me is like, I need to know what I need to know more. Like what's what's really going on here? Will that compromise what's the investigation? Like I I know like I know that's Demos and they did something fucked up to him. And I know that his the he's the intelligence and he's behind it. He's there. How do I get to him? So I know what I want to do. All right, if you will allow me Okay. I would like to cast message to Demos. Um, it, one second. So I will say, like the the more intelligent side of you, the investigator side would also probably kind of have that in the back of your head. Only a few days ago, your partner murdered someone and is now in prison because of this investigation. So like you know that you would likely end up in the same boat if you just went ape and tried to murder all these people. Okay, I have to be very careful about that. We're in a secret uh, room. <laughs> yeah. And so uh, as you're kind of contemplating, like trying to shake off this, this weirdness of seeing basically like almost your little brother, in a sense, you've been partners with Demetrius for several years. You've gotten to know him. You've seen this young man grow into a young man. 
you know, from a, a relatively small child. Yeah, and now into a rabbit, so. Yeah, well, half rabbit. And half so rabbit. as you're trying to shake this off, you see that the the larger eye, which almost appears to be like a, an owl's eye, like this golden owl eye, it is kind of moving on its own and just darting around and it locks on to you, Nikitas. <gasps> I, I, there is a moment, a comical moment here where it locks on me and I shimmy from side to side to see if it's no. to see if the no. eye is no. following me. Okay, it sees me. Yeah, it follows you. And Demo says, Uncle Nick. Oh, fuck it. I lose it. I, fuck, I oh, fucking no. lose it. I, I, I break down. Oh, my God. Oh, shit. Um,. Uh, Nikitas is, uh, he's learned a lot today. He's learned to be strong. He's learned to be a leader. He learned to use his strength and, and, and his leadership skills and persuasion to, to make change. And I guess he's, he's motivated in this moment. He is going to, uh, hold on. Okay. Okay. Here's what he's going to do. He is going to burst forth from his invisibility and say, and say, what is going on here? And cast silent image uh, to make it look like the teachers and guards, the, the, maybe maybe the people actually I saw from the DTP. Like okay. I'm going to create a silent image in a 15 foot cube uh, space of just an army or small army rather, of right. like enforcers rather. Like you've been busted, what's going on here? And I can't take a picture, right? If cameras aren't a real thing. Yeah, I mean, there's no cameras. <laughs> All right, I take the moment really quickly to sketch what I see. It's it's it's, it's evidence. Uh, Very and I, see, <laughs> and I say, "Stop! What's going on here? Reveal yourself!" <laughs> and then, I'm like, tears are literally streaming down Nikitas's face, and and uh, he's he's really losing it. And he and he's not a very tough guy. He doesn't have. I don't think he has any combat abilities at, at <laughs> all. So he's really hoping to use the bluff of the enforcers to make this go his way. I would definitely so, like to help if possible because I have at yeah. I mean all I have is press to digitation that funny word to see if I can help like amplify like all of the sounds of every like these people assembling and everything yeah. and in the back of them of oh, my mind cool. I want to say that like she has thunder wave like if something goes wrong she wants to be able to hopefully cast it in a right. way that it gives her time to run forward grab both uh Nikitas and maybe Demos if possible that's like what she's thinking right now she's right. helping with press the, 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 the fancy press word the, <laughs> yeah. yes, the big key word <laughs> yes uh, right now but if like something goes awry she would like to react with thunder wave to get them out and, and and I think at this moment Rick Nikitas would absolutely take this opportunity to take out his badge blow his cover completely and use his authority as an agent of the law to put them under arrest. So, and, I, and, and, and his cover, like to, to Maya's surprise, he's no longer that bland faced boy anymore. He is now a, uh, like a Rorschach faced, um, mm -hmm. adult looking, uh, professional, like investigator, like a full on invest. His robes has changed everything. He's yeah. now like a, like a cop, like a, like a like a PI looking guy with a with a blank Rorschach face with sunglasses. Yeah, he's coming like out the guy behind own. you, but without the mustache. Oh, uh, it looks like this guy. <laughs> okay, it looks like him <laughs> with a badge, with a real badge. Uh, forget what I forget what what we are, but we're enforcement officers of some sort. Yeah, the BCIT. Something about. Yes. Yeah. The Bureau oh, of Civil so Investigation and Protection. Protection. Right. Yeah. That's what it was. And does that carry any weight, by the way? Like we, we like with a persuasion or an intimidation or something like that? I mean they, they absolutely have a visual reaction. Like you can tell that you have had an effect on them. And the one who had come in and like revealed Demos says Kill them all. Fuck. And he raises up his hands as he shapes the stone to form a solid wall behind demons. 
And he starts to slowly lumber towards you and says, run. I can't leave you, buddy. I can't leave you. Demetrius would kill me. I can't, I can't, I can't do it. And, and I, and I want to, for the first time in my life, uh, cast, uh, a projection, like using my powers that I learned in, in college and wizard school, but never have had to use. I cast magic missile, my first ever offensive spell. And I want to cast it at the leader or presumed leader who lifted the veil initially. And, and I want to cast magic missile at, uh, can I cast a second level, a second level. So uh, before you do that, I mean, he shapes stone to form a solid stone wall between you. Oh, so you oh, I'm sorry. I thought he put it between, between um, just just Demetri, uh, just Demos. Yeah, he, so he, he put a wall up between all of us. Yeah, it's directly behind Demos now, cutting off all of these robed figures from and us. They, yeah, only leaving Demos, you, and Maya. Oh, then oh. I. I get ready to, and then I see the wall come up, and I, and I will withhold it. And then I, I think I'm going to just run over to Demos. I'm just going to run over and, and give him a hug and say, it's okay, buddy. It's okay. Uh, roll, I guess, Persuasion. And I'll let you roll with it. Uh, with it well, 17 without. Um, 17 plus 5, so 22. Okay. Uh, he rolled a 19, so yeah, you beat him with that. And he says, Uncle Nick, please, please run. I can't stop. Maya, help me! Grab him, damn it! Grab him, let's get yeah. out of here! At that, I want to, like, rush forward. So many questions, but that's not the time for that. And I want to try and grab, ideally, both of them. I don't know if I'd be strong enough for that, but at the least, Demo. I'm like 100 pounds, you can grab me. And then just, like... <laughs> Get out of here. Okay. As uh, roll a grapple check. Okay. Okay. The one thing I'm good at. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. <laughs> oh. Wait, wait, I can't. Wait, I see you're about to do something, and I want to whisper words of bardic inspiration to you because I forgot I'm a bard. <laughs> okay. Might need it. I didn't do great. <laughs> so I want to say, Maya, we're, we're both really counting on you. This, this child's life is at stake here. <laughs> so you get one d six out of to your uh, to your roll. Okay, okay, one d six. Come on, huh. Huh. it's spinning. I don't like that. All right. Mm. So everything together would be sixteen total. Okay, okay. That's, that's a bad, that's a good number. So you are able to wrap them both up, but Demos definitely seems a lot stronger than his kind of slender form would imply. So I, motherfucker, you, I can't sleep on him. I'm like, motherfucker, go to sleep. <laughs> uh, remind me how sleep works because it's been a No, moment. it's not going to be good for me. <laughs> uh, it'll, probably, it'll probably work better than the giant bees. <laughs> oh my god, well if I can't sleep and I can't sleep, like all three of us are kind of like like she's holding both of us yeah, right and so there. sleep works in an area and as a wizard slash bard i probably have the lowest max health of everybody <laughs> here <laughs> so I'm I'm probably, out. i will be the first one to sleep although i don't know i don't know that though right like i like presumably demos could be injured and have less health so i wouldn't really know that so exactly. yeah i'm gonna go ahead and cast sleep Okay. Because I see, I see him resisting. Right, that's kind of the thought here. He's right. resisting the, like the the temptation that he wants to run, but he can't because of something else that's controlling him. So I want to just pull him. This well, I can do two things. I can make, I can do suggestion, or sleep. Uh, I'll do sleep. <laughs> if I do sleep, I'm gonna lose. That's it. All right, I'm gonna cast sleep, and yeah. so that's my third first level spell slot, and I roll. Five D eight. Okay, so five D eight. <laughs> Twenty eight. Ooh. Okay. Um. And what's your HP right now? I'm hoping more than his. <laughs> <laughs> just, just out of curiosity, what is it? It's a 20. I have 20. <laughs> okay. So 
But I will say, Nikitas is smart. Like, I'm going to cast this, like, centered around an area that just misses me. And gets just them to... So, well, that's even worse then, isn't it? Because I, yeah. I put Maya to sleep. <laughs> uh, I mean, no, I, I feel like Nikitas would know, worst case scenario, if you put yourself and... Demos asleep, then Maya could probably handle you guys. Okay, yeah, then I cast it on all of like in the in the moment, right? I'm like, yeah. sleep, damn it! <laughs> Stop it, man! Stop resisting! All right, and I'm like, so, ah! <laughs> so you kind of feel that Nikitas is like wiggling and doing some you you go to magic school, so like even though you don't do a lot of it, you know, he's probably casting a spell and he's kind of like muttering something. And then he and Demos both just go limp in your arms. And I also, I overshot Whoa. it, huh? Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, you know the Nikitas, you know the Demos did not have, you know, rabbit legs or an owl's eye or anything. He, looks like he definitely looks different from the last time I met him, for sure. Yeah. And <laughs> Puberty? <laughs> yeah. That's hey, in this, in this day sure. and age, who knows? <laughs> Um, in the world, in the world of fantasy, back in the whatever <laughs> BC era that this was, right. <laughs> right? And you can, you can, before you pass out, like you kind of know, like as you're falling asleep, you can, you can tell that he was probably injured in some way. Um, you could guess maybe from some sort of surgery because of like the way that the rabbit legs are stitched up. I mean, they're they're like Frankenstein stitched across his legs, just sort of a patchwork sewn together and then stitched onto his human body um the the owl's eye it's pretty like red and inflamed around it and like i said it doesn't look like it fits well like it's probably pretty uncomfortable so you can assume he was pretty injured at that point so yeah you both fall asleep and maya you kind of carry them out mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. I just keep going full bore. I do not stop. And where you I, like, like, like I want to imagine, like on your way out, like you missed the shadow, hit the wall. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops! Like both of our heads smash <laughs> against the wall. Only like twice. <laughs> <laughs> Shoulder check. <laughs> I'm awake. I'm awake. <laughs> but now I'm unconscious because it took twenty damage. <laughs> yeah. So where do you carry them to? I want to say that for Maya, uh, there's very few places that she feels super comfortable, but she wants to go where maybe somewhere, if it's on the school grounds or maybe just outside, somewhere that she has used to meditate very often when she has been training. Her biology classroom. <laughs> there, is, you, there is a shared yeah, yeah. connection there. <laughs> um, if knowing that nobody would still be in it, that would probably be the first choice. It's still pretty early. Yeah, and I would say it, that probably is kind of like a, a safe place for her. No, like it's kind of boring, but you also know that it's kind of peaceful. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah, I just go like barging through there as fast as I can. Okay. Uh, yeah, so Nikitas, you, you reawaken on the floor of the herbology classroom. I just, I just like open my eyes and look up at the giant plant. I'm like, oh, shield. <laughs> and I realize I don't know what the giant plant is supposed to look like. Like reactionary shield. And roll, roll and dodge out of the way. Uh, mm -hmm. I think I want to gather my wits about me. And I, I just want to look, I guess I look over at, at Maya with like, like thanks in my eyes. And then they quickly uh, dissipate. And I look over at Demos and then Weary kind of overtakes me. And my first thought is of Demetrios. And then oddly, my, my second thought is immediately of Bion. And how I wish Bion was here, right? To not only witness this, but just to be that that sound like that sound mind. He's usually stronger at this type of thing. So, um, yeah. is 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 Demo still asleep? He is. You see that he is like curled up in the fetal position on the floor. Um, I, I think I think I'll go over to Maya and say, hey, Maya, can can you help me? We we have to restrain him. He, he's not. He's not entirely himself. And, and I want to like give some rope and like together we kind of like tie him up to something because yeah. he's probably going to want to run or freak out. He's going to have like some sort of 
like in a reaction to I feel like not being himself. Just tie him to the, the dragon plant. <laughs> no, we, at first we start that, yeah, and then the, the dragon, then the dragon plant, like kind of moves. And we're like, wait, this is a bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> you behave. This is serious. Intimidated into behaving. Kind of like the cows down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then, then I want to grab some like water and just like splash it in his face. Demos, Demos, it's it's your uncle Nikitas. He just seems like he's really tired. I mean, like I said, he he appears to have gone through probably some major surgery. Half of his body was replaced by something else. So, yeah, I'm trying to think. Like, I don't have any uh, potions on me. I'm trying to think what spell slots I have left. I could cast. I know healing word. <laughs> I, I know some of those. I know some of those words. You are a bard. Oh, I am a bard. That's where it comes from. Uh, I don't feel like words of encouragement are really going to help him right now. <laughs> They're not going to fix these stitches. They're not going to grow back his legs. <laughs> um. So, so I say, Demos, stay with me. Who, who did this to you? And he's just—he's fast asleep. He seems like he is just so tired, and he needs to rest. Okay. Um, I want to say, Maya, I'm, I'm really sorry. I, I really can't leave Demos right now. So you, you may know, look at me. I, I am not who I said I was. I'm not a student that goes here. I am, a, I am part of the part of the law of force, though. I'm an investigator. My name is Nikitas. And my partner, his name is the, who you call Brian. It's actually Bion, the Bootylicious. Uh, he's very well known in the realm of, of investigators. Uh, he's he's currently in in the in the room that we were just in, the common room. Can you go grab him? He has to be here for this. All right, nom nom. Tom. It's the room we were in. I can draw you a map if you need. Nope, All right. I got it. <laughs> so unfortunately, this is probably where we're going to have to end for the night. But before we end. Tisha, thank you for coming and playing with us. This was oh, that was crazy. Oh, my I God. I, 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 I have to say thank you because I wrote very little of what happened tonight, and it was fantastic. Oh, <laughs> so good. thank you for giving my game. <laughs> it actually worked out. I took, so, I took some good notes. I think it was really good <laughs> storytelling and role play. And yeah. most importantly, we actually got to a piece of critical information for Demos. Exactly. And so, you guys solved the case. You guys solved the case. <laughs> not really. We found Demos, but we still don't know who's responsible, right? So that's still uh, that's like still an that, outstanding right? thing. But we we brought it back to the school. We know we know it happened in the school. Absolutely. So this is exciting. So Bion, I guess the next time it's going to be like, oh, what what happened? He's just going to wake up late morning, <laughs> like not know who the fuck happened. Being bench press. Like, <laughs> all right, here we go. Because normally it's Bion who goes off on his own and. You're just like, wow, all this crazy stuff happened to you. <laughs> now you got to have your own adventure. Yeah, like now, like, <laughs> I, after a, or a lover's quarrel, I'm like, see, I don't need you. I can do everything on my own. <laughs> Look at me. I'm VP slash Prez. <laughs> yeah, this whole morning. <laughs> Depending on which moment it is. Yeah, like we're president and vice president. We, we saw the case. We got Demos back. Um, I am not a small child boy, man boy, who goes to this school. <laughs> Although I will quickly put back on my boy face, I think once once Maya is gone, I'm going to want to recover my uh, my persona again. So I'm going to right. get back to normalitas. Okay. Swalitas. So, yeah. No, no, maybe, maybe a little more swole normalitas. Yeah. Kind of the, the in between, yeah. Yeah. Cool. All right, so that's where we're going to end for tonight. Again, Keisha, thank you for joining us. Check out Keisha at Potions and Potpourri, wherever you get your podcasts. Check out Tim at Geckos and Grottos and geckosmedia.com. And feel free to uh, check out us as well. You know, hopefully you've enjoyed what you've been listening to. Yep, at Hammer of the Gods. So, thank you all. Thanks, everybody. See ya. Bye. Bye.